before, Haiti has for the most part been ignored and even shunned by most of the world. Haiti is one of the poorest, most densely populated countries in the world. Its area is slightly smaller than Maryland with very little land that is farmable. The population is around 9 million. For the average person living in Haiti, life is hard. Over 7% seven seven of newborn babies die before their first birthday. Percent of Haitians are able to read or write, and for most of them, what passes as literacy is the ability to be able to sign their own name. Um, there is close to another estimated 1,000 kids who are working variously as messengers, spies, mules, and formers or soldiers of armed gangs in the capital. And perhaps most shamefully, there are an estimated 300,000 <laughs> child slaves called rest of it in Haiti today, and three quarters of them are girls between the ages of four and 16. Generations of living under the lash of the whip, the Africans rose up. And I often think of a quote that I read by a um, writer by the name of Albert Camus, who wrote this essay called Rebel, in which he was asking, what is it about rebellion? What is it that the slave will accept the whip for so long, and then one day will turn around and grab the wrist of his master? And I think that the explanation that he came up with is most fitting for Haiti. He said that the slave will suddenly realize, quote, it is better to die on one's feet than to live on one's knees. And in 1791, the Haitians decided that it would be better to die on their feet than to live any more on their knees, and they rose up against the French. They succeeded in ousting the French not just once, but Napoleon famously sent his legion back again with the famous order to take that colony back from those gilded Negroes. And they promptly kicked Napoleon's forces back out of the colony again and declared independence in 1804. This did mark, as was said, the first and only successful slave revolution in world history. Never before and never since had Africans risen up against their white masters, thrown off the yoke of slavery, never to take it back on again. And to declare independence, Haiti became, in 1804, perhaps the first free republic in the world. The only other one that comes close in the hemisphere would be the United States, but with a thriving slave economy, with you know an unequal distribution of rights, the United States was hardly free at this time. Haiti guaranteed equality to all men, women, and children, regardless of color, regardless of creed. 80 percent of the population of Haiti lives below the poverty line, and of that, 54 percent live in utter poverty. The current population of Haiti is 8,924,553 people, and of that number, 280,000 are living with HIV or AIDS. 